So my name in my Hanus Kus language, is my ancestor's language, is Mok Len Hlnas, Kukwisme. And that is, uh, my, na my name in English would be Mark Petrie, and uh, I'm, as I said, Hanus Kus tribal member. Enrolled in the tribes of uh, a group now, or confederated tribes of the Kus, Lor Umqua, and Saifslaw Indians. When I learned of uh, the traditional tobacco that we had, I was very interested in bringing that culture back. Uh, it had been lost in a, for our tribe for over 150 years, we could say. The need to help reduce the amount of commercial tobacco used within my community and in, even my own family to bring um, something that's more meaningful back from that plant. My name is John Schaefer. I'm a Hanus Kus tribal member. I'm the biologist for the Confederated Tribes of the Kus, Lower Umqua, and Sayuslai Indians. Likely cultivated for thousands of years. It started dying out soon after uh, European colonization. When I started working for the tribe, one of the first things I was given was an ethnobotany book. And it had a bunch of the plants that the tribe used. And one of them was the tobacco, the multivalvus, that was the coastal species. But there was no picture. I just kept hitting dead ends. The, that species was considered extinct. I kept seeing extinct in papers I was reading. And I just assumed it was. And finally, I stumbled on a paper and they had a catalog and it was in the catalog. I tracked that down and I was eventually able to get some seeds. That's the story. It took me 10 years of looking, but I finally got the multivalves. It's important to me just because this is pretty much the only link we have to the tobacco culture and if we want to restore it to the state that it was. As soon as I got into uh, the knowledge that we had that, I was just full bore whatever I could do to bring it back and I've been working with tribal members, our tribe, and um, bringing it into as many of our camps and as many of our activities as possible and bringing back keep tobacco sacred, that saying, and, and today we use uh, smoked salmon, not cigarettes. It, it's been really well received. Ashley Russell, Len Tlinas. My name is Ashley Russell. Milik Ta Pamunkime. I'm a Milik Kus and Pamunkey tribal person. Teaching these tribal youth that they, they are special because not everyone their age has, has the culture, has these traditions, has these beliefs, has these stories, um, has, these, has the, the ties to the land, and has all these other amazing opportunities. I've had one youth come in that had no connection to his culture, and he had just learned that he was tribal. He was 14, and so he came to our first spring break camp. And I brought a traditional tea flyer. So we just try to expose the kids to all of our elements of culture, and he picked up on that, and he asked me for an ethnobotany book. And this was a teen that was really struggling at home. And so getting him into the program, into our, um, our camps, um, and teaching him you know, about traditional tobacco. And so this year, when he came back um, to our culture camp, to see him grow and to see him know all these plants that I didn't really even teach him, I'm like, here, you know, here's some resources. Um, and to see him teaching like his little sister and other youth and actually stepping up and being a leader, that's what is worth it. This is all worth that. And I hope he continues on this path. He becomes a, a great tribal member <laughs> and leads the next generation. Our youth coming back to uh, experience some of these traditional things, even though it's just little pieces, right? Because those of us that live in this area, we, we participate in salmon and we participate in the solstice dances. But being able to bring those young people back and share bits and pieces of that with them and hopefully encourage them to come back more frequently is super important because it allows them to have a connection to this place. Even though this place has changed, you know, it's changed a lot. My name is Jesse Beers. I work in the Culture and Natural Resources Department. I'm the Cultural Stewardship Manager for the Confederated Tribes, the Kush, Lorongkwa, and Saishla Indians. And with these young people here today, uh, you know, you give them that strength, or they work to give themselves that strength, and then they're able to say, you know what, I don't need that, you know. I, I know what I'm supposed to use tobacco for. I'm supposed to give it to the tree when I take the bark. I'm supposed to do it with this prayer to, you know, have my sweat or whatever, you know. I'm not supposed to just abuse the plant for no, free, uh, no reason. <laughs> um, because 
it's not only an abuse of yourself, which is what I think probably the dominant society sees, it's bad for you because it's abuse of yourself. It's also abuse of what the plant was meant for. It's abuse of why we were given that plant. Over the years we've been building and building on um, the efforts of getting that commercial tobacco out of our events. So today we have our, uh, our heads of, the, of our departments sign a pledge to say that they will not allow any commercial tobacco use at an event if it has a tribal family, which is, it has uh, kids involved. So what, um, what I've seen in, in, in my community, the effects of our work in tobacco prevention and bringing back the awareness of uh, our use of traditional tobacco versus the commercial use of it, is we are putting our heart back in the tobacco. Because the tobacco, we've been hearing it's bad most of our lives, and you know, stay away from tobacco, but not all tobacco is, is bad. You know, we have our traditional tobacco. And our traditional tobacco was used in a very respectful and sacred way. And by bringing that awareness back and having the youth participate in those ceremonies and, and use that tobacco in the proper way, and us you know, really driving home that it is a sacred plant and to abuse it. And by using it every day, you would be disrespecting our ancestors and that plant. So that is, it's been really amazing to hear the kids, just hear them talk about, you know, they're disrespecting their tobacco, which that's, that's really cool to hear. You know, you, you hear that and you're, we're doing something right, you know, that we're bringing that back and they're, they're really understanding it, some of them. And hopefully more and more as we spread and keep, keep you know, talking about the traditional use of it.